Police. He's a Fox 10 News Alert. And welcome everyone here to News Now Sky Fox in the area in Houston right now of a police chase that is underway right now. Viewer discretion is advised here at this moment uh, as uh, police are following this black pickup truck right now. And uh, right now it's on these side streets a little bit ago. It was on uh, some expressways here. So uh, we are going to see what is happening. It looks like the suspect wants to ditch out of the vehicle here pretty soon. Let's keep an eye on this as you just never know what a suspect is going to do in a police chase. You can see that we have a lot of officers right behind this suspect right here, and you can see it's on uh, Navigation Boulevard. This is kind of interesting the way they have these set up here on these uh, different helicopter shots now where it gives you an area of where this is. This is in East Houston right now. Uh, at 77th Street there in Navigation Boulevard, and you can just see the parade of police that are behind this suspect right now. He had his uh, front door open. It looked like he wanted to ditch out in that area, but then decided not to. So we will continue to follow this here for you. You are watching live right here in East Houston of this police chase that is underway right now. And like so many times, you just never know how these are all going to end. And you could see the police really following closely behind here. And uh, we can't say this enough, though. Viewer discretion he is advised here as you just don't know what this suspect is going to do and he's picking up some speed here on these side streets right now and joining me right here is once again Ron Hoon for more coverage. Okay, so um, yeah, it's interesting. I uh, so often when I see these, Mike, I am pulling for a pit maneuver mm -hmm. as fast as possible. Sure. I mean, you know, I know these are dangerous situations. Right now, you don't know if that person's armed. I will say this. It would not be unusual if this is a stolen vehicle, mm -hmm. if the individual were to be armed. Now, to me, right there could have been a possible pit maneuver. Yep. Uh, it's a black truck. It looks, looks like a work truck. Looks like they're getting closer to what you you want, Ron. Yeah. You called for it. Yep. Well, he's he's uh, he's obviously starting to behave in a more dangerous manner because I think you saw right there he turned onto a residential side street and at the very same time actually picked up speed. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, those are situations where you, you know, what you don't want, you want everything to come to an end peacefully. Sure. And so let's just watch right here. You've got the one officer there in the SUV in Houston. Yeah, and there's about right like 15 other officers behind. It's, wow. it's a huge parade here that they're going around these residential areas. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so many times with these police chases, we're, we're seeing that the suspect knows eventually the end is coming yes. as far as an arrest. Yep. But uh, they really want to extend these final moments. Yeah, and, sure. you know, sometimes these final moments could go 15, 20 minutes. And think about all the, the lives are put at risk, not only with the police, but yep. everyone just Ooh. driving around. Right. See, right there you had a car that was, or a truck that was pulling in yep. uh, onto that a little side street. And they came actually pretty close to uh, connecting with each other. So, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is going to be one that we're going to have to follow for a while. It appears to be in an area just actually just maybe a few miles outside of downtown Houston, that Avenue J that they were on. And by the way, he's done a full 360, Mike. You pick up on that? Yeah. He's back on Navigation Boulevard. That's true, so yeah. It's like he pulled into the one neighborhood and, um, you know, then the next thing you know, he turns left, right, and, the, and he's right back on this bigger boulevard. Whether he's familiar with this stretch of town or not, mm -hmm. we don't know, but it sort of seems like it because he wants to hang out on this one street. Yeah, so many times you hear that these suspects, they want to kind of hang around an area that they know of so they don't have to go down a an area that might be a cul-de-sac or something where it would just block your access to try to get out right now. But you can yeah. see this, uh, this police officer keeping really steady. This might be a pit maneuver uh, right here. Let's boy, he's right up alongside yeah. of him here. It's difficult because we're right in the trees, but boy, he's picking up speed, Mike. Look at that. Yeah. Look at him blow through this area right along that park. 
uh, and uh, you know you've, he's been in residential you can see it's industrial as well you've got other helicopters that are flying overhead you've got uh, news helicopters you've got the police of course who are keeping a real close eye on him uh, but at some point if the officer feels as though this individual is threatening uh, individuals you know very lives then I'm sure they're authorized. I, mm -hmm. I've got to believe that every department by this uh, day that we live in now, A, has policies on how you engage and don't engage, and then B, uh, even quite possibly practices things like a pit maneuver, sure. because again, this guy's picking up that speed. Um, you've got, I think he might very well be, there's a spot there where that particular yeah, uh, now road. it's really picking up there, Ron, uh, as he gets yeah. these straightaways here. Yeah, and what scares me the most always is the intersections. When you blow through these intersections, that's when a lot of these accidents oh. can occur. Oh. Now we're really picking up. Now look at that. Okay, so that actually gave us a good perspective. You've got people doing, I'm assuming it's an arterial. He's maybe, the, you've got a speed limit of 35 or 40, and he was doing double the speed of those other trucks. And now he's going to face a situation where... Yeah, so we have some traffic here with that uh, bigger vehicle. Yeah. And uh, now, okay, going down this side road once again. Well, now this is interesting, Mike, because sometimes you take a side road, again, <laughs> unless you're very familiar with some of these neighborhoods, you take side road, you don't know if you're going to end up in a dead end or a parking lot or whatever. That's but true. It looks like he's on another residential type street here, just on the edge of that industrial park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and moments ago, if you're just joining us here on News Now, uh, speeds were picking up on those side roads as uh, he was really going through some areas there pretty fast but now going around and around here in East Houston and uh, we are waiting to see just how this is all going to unfold and boy there is a parade of police though right behind him. He just went past. Oh, oh, there it is. There we Ron. go. There's the pit maneuver, and uh, we should have a resolution All right, here. He is out. He is coming quickly. out. Viewer discretion is advised, everyone. Uh -huh. Down on the ground he goes, it appears. Look at that. At least from that, that's the, that's the first smart thing the guy did today. Right. Right? Straight wow. down on the ground. You know, these officers, they're so highly trained. They are. They're going to issue instructions. Um... So, oh, okay, they got, they got a canine. canine there. There's still some fellow officers who have guns drawn. That was a great job right there. Let's yeah, no kidding. Not quite sure why he finally decided to go ahead and do it, but I'm glad he did, and we get this thing over with and get this guy to jail and press charges against him, whatever uh, local prosecutors feel is appropriate, and just a foolish, foolish maneuver on his part to... Uh, we don't know if that's a stolen vehicle. A lot of them are. Yeah, a are. lot of them are. It, it end up being stolen uh, stolen vehicles. We'll find out more about this one, but it looks like it's all going to come to an A-OK -okay kind of end. Yep, great job by the police there. And let's just show you this moments ago. This is how it all ended right here. Let's go back right now. And uh, you can see when uh, police are going to be doing this pit maneuver as uh, he's going to take a right here. And this is when it all ends. So take a look. It's hard to see with the trees there, but he does it right there. Mm. Pushes him right there, and the guy says, you know what? I've seen yep. enough. I yeah. think that was enough to scare him right there. And beautifully, you know that Burger King parking lot where it all come to, came to an end, Mike? <laughs> Seriously, there were a couple of vehicles that That's could have true. been completely smashed up as a result of the, yep. of the pit maneuver and the guy losing control, and none of those vehicles, not only did it end successfully and peacefully, we're back live showing you they're getting the guy in the blue shirt right into the back of the squad car here. But everybody who had parked at Burger King, you know, it's the lunch hour. Right. right. But uh, shots going in and out now. Looks like all their cars came out of it fine. You're in there eating your burger and yeah. your fries, and you look out and you can't believe what you see, but there it is. Yeah, a lot right. of action there in Houston as mm -hmm. this wraps up. Uh, police chase just ending right there. Great job by all police and first responders there to were able to get this suspect in custody. Very nice work indeed. There we go. More news now, everybody. What is going to happen next? We got a loaded show for you. More news next.